I got fresh revelation about the Draconoid Meteor Shower coming this October 7th and 8th, 2021, and the Revelation 12 sign. How these two are going to come together and how I am going to put some things together that are happening during the events. I really do believe the La Palma volcanic eruption is wormwood. And if it is true, then it would go alongside with some scriptures that are being basically uh, prophecy being fulfilled. Okay, let's look at sunset feast of trumpets. Now, this is where we're br brought into correction. Now, in Israel, there was a barley harvest that was, uh, basically they had said that it was uh, ripe and it wasn't. So that means our Feast of Trumpets in September was off a month. So that actually brings us up to October 7th and 8th. And I studied some videos and it took some time to unravel this, but it makes more sense now looking at the signs in the heavens uh, according to 1 Thessalonians 4.16 and also in Luke and also in Matthew 24. So it says in Matthew 24 to look to the signs in the sun, moon, and stars. So we see the sun in the belly of Virgo and the moon at her feet. Now, during this time, in October 7th and 8th, the Draconoid meteor shower is going to be on display. So, who, what do you think is going to happen during this Draconoid meteor shower? Could it possibly be fallen angels? And this is when the rapture occurs. There's a quite an interesting possibility of that happening. Now, remember, we're looking at the possibilities. Everyone has been speculating a lot of these things because it's interesting how the La Palma volcano erupted. And if it goes into the ocean and causes all this destruction that it's supposed to, it'll be a worldwide event. And these worldwide events that are happening, plus other events that are happening with the climate change, the Leo de Sea, the Leo de Sea that is occurring with the Pope and the UN and all these things that are occurring right now, according to Matthew 27, I'm sorry, not Matthew 27, Daniel 9, 27, then you could see a lot of major scriptures taking place. Now, this is all going to bring everything into focus because it'll all go back to Israel eventually okay but let's go for, back to the sunset at Feast of Trumpets in 2021 October 7th and 8th the Virgo with the moon at her feet and the sun is at her belly the, that would be the child that would be caught up away from the dragon that is to trying to devour the child. So you have the Revelation 12 sign that'll be in display in the heavens on October 7th and 8th during the same time of the Draconoid meteor shower. Not even a coincidence, not even at all. So I said that to say this we brought us into correction the word of God brings us into correction, and there's a lot of things that I can say. Thank you to the people that do these things that help us understand the times we are living in. Because the word of God is true. It is coming to pass. It is all very true. This looks like an ideal high rapture watch for the return of the Lord. Because I can't think of a more stronger possibility here than what I'm seeing right in front of me. So when you go to look at this video, I want you to pay close attention to this. Now remember, the sign is the Revelation 12 sign 
that being said, you can see Leo the lion, and that's the uh, the lion, the tribe of Judah, and you can see these signs in the heavens. Okay, now when the draconoid meteor shower is going on at the same time, this gives us a window of time that the rapture of the church could occur, which is the sun, the catching the church away from being devoured. So we have to know what that is that we're being rescued from. So we, we know that it's a couple possibilities, but that's the sign in the heavens, okay? We know what wickedness lies ahead. So I'm leaving it at that. I really, really want you to study this chart if you get a chance to, because I see all kinds of things going on here, and I'm really excited. Praise the Lord.